Hi, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're going to be doing another pick a card reading because I have been so in love with doing these readings. Outside of the fact that I'm seeing that you guys love them, I actually benefit from them as well because as I'm shuffling, I already intuitively pick the number in my head and which just now a number popped in my head. I'm not going to say it out loud because I don't know what the cards are going to show and I don't want to expose myself even though you guys know I expose you in these pick a card readings. I want to write it down. I'm going to write down my number. But as I'm doing that, um, obviously, what is coming through for you in these pick a card readings for this reading? And of course, the question is going to be focused around what doors are opening up for you? Now, at the time of me filming this, it's going to be the Aries New Moon. And I don't want to go too much into detail about the Aries New Moon because I talked about it in one of my other videos, one of my previous videos. But Aries, again, is the sign within the zodiac that opens the door for the rest of the zodiac that leads the way for the rest of the zodiac. And the New Moon is the start of the new beginning. Technically, we're just walking out of the spring equinox. There's a lot of doors that are opening up. So that is where this video is being inspired. Now, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a moment to look at the cards that I've already pulled. I don't really want to make this video any more complex and more complicated than it needs to be, so I'm going to pause it and allow you guys to pick your cards right now. And then you can go ahead and check the timestamps down below so that you can see which one of the card pulls is the one for you. For some of you guys, you are going to be drawn to more than one. I've seen that a lot, so go ahead and allow your intuition to speak to you through that. And that being said, let's go ahead and dive in. So the first cards that are jumping out for the first group are Follow Your Heart, The Empress, um, The Ship, and The Child from the Lenormand deck, The Two of Wands, the Withdrawn and the Secretive card. And then I pulled some extra additional confirmation cards and that is the Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, and the Eight of Swords. Now, the first thing that it is that I'm seeing here, and I can't help but to feel this, but I feel like a lot of you guys are obviously, for my group number ones, you're operating in a space of tremendous fear to the point where it literally has you guys sitting on the horizon. Like you're sitting at the shore and you're looking out. It almost reminds me, the vibe that I'm getting, it reminds me of that child that wants, you know, new, new to a new school, like they move to a new school and they're shy, like they're naturally shy and introverted, and they're watching the rest of the kids play, and they want to be a part of it, they want to partake, but because of their own fear and putting themselves out there, maybe they don't have a lot of support, um, that's kind of stopping them from jumping in and following their heart and, you know, initiating and saying hi, and it's always that one person, that one friend, or that one teacher, or that one, per like that one whatever, that reaches out and says, hi, my name is Katie, or hi, my name is Jennifer, or hi, my name is Daniel, do you want to play with me? And then the kid's like, okay, and then that's what kind of breaks the ice and that's what breaks the mold. That's what it is that I'm, you guys, and I totally forgot that this child is here. That's so funny that that's actually what came through. Um, but, and then this is actually the card of travel, so I'm really wondering, are you guys in a new territory? Are you in a new space? This doesn't actually have to physically show um, a new environment, but for, for some of you guys, it could really be that way. But with the Two of Wands, this is very distant. And then with the Ship card, this is very distant. And with the, the Child card, not only is this energy could, could be connected to a child, but it's very innocent in nature. And there's a lot of playfulness there, but it's shy, it's pulled back, and it needs some type of nurturing. It needs some type of support and guidance. I think that that's why that's coming through. So again, I don't want you guys to take the messages so literal unless it applies to you, but I definitely see this new space of you know new territory, new environment, new opportunities, and I see you having a lot of light, a lot of creativity, a lot of positivity around you, but you're in this space right now where you're really second-guessing yourself. You're totally channeling that child in the playground that's sitting on the park bench that isn't sure if he wants to join in for Foursquare or... Connect Four or Legos or whatever <laughs> and they just need that one person to kind of reach out and say, you know what, my name is 
fill in the blank. Do you want to sit at our table? Do you want to join us? Are we going here? Or do you want to play with me? Do you want to talk? Do you want to, you know, discuss? And that's what I'm seeing with the Ace of Pentacles. It's so funny that that was the visual that came to me because that's what's coming through. The other thing is that I'm seeing and I'm feeling so much potential coming from you or coming from whoever it is that needs your nurturing, who needs you to kind of extend a helping hand. It almost seems like that person is filled with, you know, gifts. That's the Ace of Pentacles in a nutshell. This person is filled with gifts and those things are actually secretive and those things are kind of hidden right now. Um, and it's natural because they're probably, again, in a new territory. They're in a foreign land in some way or stepping out into the unknown. Maybe they're starting a new university. Maybe they're moving somewhere. Maybe they're that's what's starting this journey is the next few steps and you traveling and moving overseas or starting a business or whatever. So you could be 90 years old and still have this energy, this innocence of the child and still need someone or maybe you need to reach out and be the empress but either way i'm really seeing you kind of conjuring that up for this new moon in aries and um and also investing in someone that really could seem a little shy but don't mistake their their quietness as like weirdness because they could actually be you know your new best friend like they could be the next love of your life they could be the the person that it is that you never knew that you needed all because you extended and reached out to them and that's the thing about aries too it's very assertive it's very dominant it's very aggressive it's very like what's up you want to play <laughs> so that's what it that i'm seeing for my group number ones let me know if that makes sense for you that's a quick message but that's what it, what it is that i pretty much got Okay, now for my group number twos, I'm seeing finding the blessing in your current situation with Krishna, eight of pentacles, and three of swords. Then we have the moose, awakening and transcendence. This is already, I'm already starting, starting to get messages. And then the um, coffin card and the tree. So the first thing that it is that I'm seeing is literally the message that came through word for word, which is finding the blessing in your current situation. I'm seeing, obviously, that there's a, a lot of what I'm almost getting right now visually, and I'm surprised you guys didn't pull this card, is the judgment. It's this energy of the judgment, which is, okay, all these moments, all these things have happened and have set into place because of karma, because of soul, because of destiny, because of fate because of lessons that it is that you need to learn in order for you to have the greatest awakening in your in your life so that you can transcend so that you can evolve so that you can move forward um i think that and this is always what happens it kind of reminds me of um when heat is applied to anything it totally transforms and that came in a message i think about two weeks ago in one of my other videos so i'm wondering if you guys may if that probably resonated with you then but if you even saw that, but I'm seeing like the, the heat and the pressure and the hurt and the ache of certain things that have happened, but all of that has happened again in order to create this new cycle. And Aries is the start of the new cycle, the new beginning, the new step. And you have to really step forward um, with the same mindset, the same, not the same mindset, but the same level of commitment that, and the same, I'm um, I don't want to say excitement because not to say that your excitement isn't there, but the same type of hope and the same type of boldness that you did before you experienced all of the things that have happened to you. Because sometimes when people experience a lot of trauma, a lot of heartache and a lot of suffering, they shut themselves off, they close themselves down and they wall themselves in. But what you end up doing is you end up cementing yourself and you end up blocking out experiences. Now, what these cards are showing you is that in this quiet stage, in this quiet state, I think that you actually need to be in a space of stillness. You don't have the Four of Swords here, but that's ultimately the, the vibe that, is that I'm getting, which is being very still and quiet and in the present moment because the lesson is right here. In fact, the Eight of Pentacles is not distracted by anything that's going on around them. Um, they are actually doing what hurts the most. And, th and by that, I mean... This card is like, what is the work that I need to do? What do I need to focus on? I'm going to have to say no to that engagement. I'm going to have to say no to meaning like engagement, meaning like, you know, this party or this event that's happening. I'm going to have to say no to my friend over here. I'm going to have to work long hours. I might have you know, a lot of stress right now, but 
that's what I need to do right now in order to grow and to learn and to build the most. And this is all because your fate has brought you to this moment at, 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 in time. Uh, again, I don't see this card being very active or this group for number twos. I don't see them being very active. I see them being very focused. And you have to really like, sometimes life is not all about the pleasure parts. I actually see my group number two as putting their head down, focusing, looking at the hurt, looking at the ache, looking at the work that needs to be done and creating a plan and doing that plan. Instead of you numbing it or you pretending like it doesn't exist, you have to actually do it. So some of you guys might actually be doing work, like you might have a business plan that you might be starting to lift off of the ground. This is where you're actually hyper-focused on that and you have to be the one to, to, to delegate your time and say, I can't go on this trip right now. I can't do everything. I actually have to do this. And it kind of hurts me to say that, but it's what I have to do right now in order for me to build this and for me to root this. Because this card, again, is all about karma and fate, but also building roots that will benefit for forever to come, to ever forever to come. And it's also part of your destiny and your karma right now. Let's say when it comes to, you know, you having heartache and suffering, instead of you guys going out and like numbing it with like parties and stuff, let's say if you just came out of a breakup, a lot of people are like, well, I'm going to go back on Tinder, or I'm going to go to the bar, or, I'm going to go do this. No, this is your time right now to actually examine the hurt, see what it is that happened, see what you would have done differently, especially when it comes to boundaries and may maybe taking some time. Um, and also examining what others have done and learning and processing it. What have you, what can you gain from that? Let's say someone has really, you know, done you dirty, you know, whether it be something as awful as like cheating. It's, it's not a, a moment of you being like, well, how could I change this? It's like, you know what, what were the red, the, the red flags for me? Like when my intuition felt this way, you know, I, how, what would I have done differently? I probably would have listened to that, you know, or I probably wouldn't have, I would have given myself the space because I knew something was up and I would have followed that a little differently. So that's ultimately what, that, ultimately what it is that I'm seeing there with this. And if you guys are going through a breakup, I'm not trying to like, you know, self promote my videos, but I did do a video about like the lessons in breakups and the major lessons that you can learn from a breakup and that is coming into my mind right now like I almost want to reiterate what I said in that video but this was done like a, a year or two years ago and I really want to invite you to check that video out because the message within that can really be healing for you now and if you don't know that that video exists maybe it can really be a game changer for you and that could be in like this eight of pentacles moment that I'm seeing okay so that's what I'm seeing for my number twos Okay, for my number threes, and we're really blasting through these cards right now because these messages are flowing. But we have Work Your Magic. We have Armadillo Protection and Boundaries. I don't know if you can see that. From Flowers from the Dead. We have the Star Card and Temperance. And oh my gosh, I'm seeing this a thousand percent for my threes. And we see the Man and the Mouse. So... These two cards stand out to me the most. Work Your Magic and Temperance and the Star card. Now, the Star card to me connects me immediately to the stars, what's going on in the cosmos right now. I don't care if you're watching this video three months, six months, 12 years after I filmed it, check your chart, check your astrology chart because that's the first thing that's standing out to me is looking towards the stars. For example, at the time of me filming this video now, the, the moon, Mercury, Venus, and Neptune are sitting in the sign of Pisces. So what am I doing right now? I'm creating my love spell. I'm creating my magic spell, my, my intentional oil, which will be available in my shop update. And the links for that are down below. But the reason why that is, is because right now in the skies, in the cosmos, the planets are so perfectly aligned right now with Mercury conjunct Neptune to use mind, word, magic, intention in order to create like soulmate love, romance, attraction, beauty, art, creativity, all of those things are ruled by the planets that are currently, how the planets are currently aligned within the stars. And you guys know as an astrologer and as an intuitive and as a witch working my magic, that's the tools that, it is that I use in order to work my magic and offer that to my clients. So whatever it is that's going in on the stars at this moment in time, you really need to check it out. If you're a part of my um, Bahati Vibe Tribe, 
there's most most likely nine times out of ten a video that is just up depending if you watch watching it at the time that I'm putting this um, video up now where I do astro live chat where I go into detail every Monday on the current um, messages and what's going on in the stars so if you haven't checked that out definitely check this out now because what's going on in the planets is what is going to help you to work your magic now that's the next thing that it is that I'm seeing is that by working your magic you are doing alchemy this guy here is like the king of alchemy that's why they're using him and like symbols and symbolism in order to represent this card Doreen Virtue she knew what she was doing when she created this card the temperance is actual the card of alchemy everyone says when they look at the temperance like oh this is the card of moderation and balance and when we say that as human beings our simple-minded self sometimes we almost equate balance to 50 50. the reality is is that there is a certain chemistry that needs to happen that is not always perfect 50 50 that needs to happen in order to create the perfect alchemy in order to create the perfect transformation within your life and that's what's happening with the temperance card so with this aries full um, new moon what i'm seeing or this energy right now what's opening up into your life right now is the opportunity for you to create this perfect balance, for you to work your magic, for you to look what's going on in your charts, what's going on in the stars right now, be inspired by it, and use that in order to create the perfect recipe in order for you to get ultimately what it is that you want for yourself. The other thing that I'm seeing is that you have to be so much bigger and better than the crap that's going on around you. You need to block it out. I don't know if this is, again, because astrology, astrologically there's some blockages and some um, challenges that are happening within your personal chart are currently in the chart at the time that you're watching this but there's something here that is literally like irritating you to the point where you just really need to flick it away you need to see it for what it is you need to stop pretending that it doesn't exist it does exist let's say it's an annoying um, nagging thought in your head anxiety or a person who's just does not bring good energy or doesn't contribute to the point where they're actually taking from you this is larger than you even realize it to be and I want you to know that Aries is very um, assertive and very dominant and this is what is happening here is that you are being called right now to create boundaries for yourself in order to protect yourself because you are almost intuitively pretending like this problem doesn't exist or that this problem is less than what it actually is when it's you know it could be it could be so much larger and it is so much larger it impacts you let's say you're a person who is in love with uh you know this person right here and you're annoying you know anxiety of the relationship what are they doing who are they talking to where are they at that is actually blocking you from working your magic to the point where even though it seems like it's so small you know, oh, I just love this person or, oh, I just hope that he'll text me or whatever. You are actually distracting yourself from working your magic for, that is all about you building your, your, the next biggest idea. But, but because your brain is so preoccupied on what he's doing and who he's texting and who he's with, that you end up missing the most incredible idea and building that, building that idea because you're so preoccupied with the bullshit. So really what I'm saying, what I'm seeing is whatever this little tiny annoying mouse is, and that's the thing, mice carry diseases, they break down barriers of their home, they're cute, but they will, they will kill you and you don't even realize it. They will eat your resources and you don't even realize that it's happening. They're so tiny, but they make the biggest impact and that's why you really need to look out for this. Like what is that mouse? Is it anxious thoughts? Is it you just sitting there thinking the worst and never doing because that is where you need to really like put your foot down, block it out, Aries it up. I don't care if you're a Gemini, a Libra, and you can't make up your mind. You have to make up your mind here and decide, is, is it worth it? Is it worth it? What is plaguing you? Like literally, what is bringing the plague to you? Because that is, it needs to be canceled out because this is blocking your magic to infinity and beyond. And there are no excuses. I, don't, I, I really want to be firm with my number threes and be like, stop pretending like this doesn't exist. Stop pretending like don't trivialize this you know this energy that's in your life is blocking you um, in such a significant way that it's irritating to me you know looking at these cards because I can see the potential of what it is that you're working with and you're just like missing it you're missing the mark okay so that's what I'm seeing for my number threes for my number fours we have take charge of this situation with Moses 
we have the scorpion using your anger and your spite. We see the whip, the anchor, and the hermit and the page of cups. Now, this is one of those cards too that for this time, what's opening in your life, I actually see you being a lot about me, 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 which makes a lot of sense because at the time of me filming this, um, I did a video earlier this week that has a lot about this Aries new moon that is happening at the time of me filming this, and the energy is all about I am, me, what do I want, what do I need, and that's what it is that I'm seeing with the hermit. This isn't so much about you being excluded from everyone and you canceling everybody out. Um, you don't have to do that unless you feel called to. Even though the Hermit card, people equate it to loneliness, it's not always lonely. It's just you focusing on you and doing what you need to do in order to get the answers that you need in order to succeed and to feel good. And that's what is that I'm seeing with it. this whole like take charge of the situation is you actually taking some time out for yourself, you channeling your anger, your words, and your knowledge in order to set root, in order to set firm foundation for what it is that you need. I do not want you to offer, you know, ask for other people to take, um, you know, make the, make the choice for me, make the decision for me. No, you need to do that. That is for you. When you take time out and you sit with yourself and you know what it is that you want, you should make a decision based upon what you have become enlightened with. Your words can maybe hurt other people, but you need to be honest. You need to be straightforward. Like literally it's like cracking a whip and like putting down the, the hammer when it comes to this is what I want, this is what I'm doing, this is the decision that it is I'm making. Again, at the time of me filming this, Aries is the new moon that's about to happen and about to arrive. And again, it's all about I am. This is what I am doing. This is what I am wanting. This is where I am. This is what I can do. This is what I am doing. This is not about you um, again, putting the power in someone else's hand for the Aries, um, for the, for this, for my number fours, your message is again about cracking that whip, putting down that hammer and you taking charge of your choices, your decision and stepping out in that way. And this could be you speaking out your heart. This could be you starting a creative project. This could be you, you know, opening up to new, to some new beginning. You might have to do it alone. You might have someone along with you supporting you and cheering you on, but at this point, this is all about your peace, your health, your mentality, your blessings, your opportunity. It's I am. What is it that you are doing? Because that is where your focus should be, at least for my number fours. So be bold, be assertive, and take charge. Don't let someone else make the decision for you. Don't do it. And lastly, for my number fives, you pick the card of freedom. The key, the tower card within the Lennerman deck, the toad, cleansing and transformation, the ten of swords, and the queen of pentacles. I don't know what is going on in your life, but I'm seeing business. I'm seeing work. I'm seeing you. And this, I see a lot of career stuff. Um, I don't know, again, like if you're thinking about leaving your current job or your current status quo or your current level of security, maybe your work is going really well right now, but you're being asked to kind of end something or kind of stop the way that you normally do stuff and do it differently. Totally evolve it, totally transform it. And the way to do that is by examining. The Queen of Pentacles, is she's all about her business, she's all about her security, she's all about luxury and um, wealth and living a healthy, happy life. And the way that she examines if she's help, happy and healthy is by taking some time and pulling back and examining it all. It's um, Queen of Pentacles is ruled by Virgo and even Taurus, and they pretty much just sit and they're like, okay, let's go down the list, what do we have here? Let's take um, accountability, let's take a list of what it is that's what we're doing, what is building, what is working. Okay, this isn't working. All right, now I have the key and now I can fix it because at least I know that it exists. So with this Aries new moon, I'm really seeing you you stepping into a space where you have the freedom and the power in order to call the shots on your future. There's some things that really need to kind of, it's time for you to let go of. And you have to do it. You almost kind of remind me of my group number four. Um, that it's all about like, okay, stop waiting for someone else to make the decision for you. If you feel like you're gonna get fired from your job, quit. 
Look for another job. Don't wait for them to give you the hammer. You have the key in your hand. The Queen of Pentacles doesn't wait for permission. She really doesn't. Even with her husband, it's like, because the Queen of Pentacles usually is married. She doesn't wait for permission. She, you know, it's like a, they already, it's already known. Like it's already discussed. You know, this is what it is that we're doing and there's an opportunity here and now we're going to build and we're going to create. But there's something here that needs to be let go of. I don't, whatever the situation is, it's not going to change. Like you actually have to be the one to change it. This energy is very stubborn. So it could be like a business or a career or a relationship or whatever that you're just like, okay, I hope that this would change. It's not going to. Like, you actually have to have the, you have to be realistic. You have to be practical and look at how things have been and realize that it's not going to change. And the reality is, is that when you actually free yourself and you free your partner or you free this job from the expectation, from, you know, waiting and hoping and wishing, you're actually turning the key and opening the door for that energy to totally transform and to cleanse because you sitting there and you being still and stagnant is not going to turn the key. This thing needs to be released. It needs to be let go of. And the Aries energy and the energy of these cards are telling you, like, look, we want to free yourself. I mean, look, it's right here. And look how abundant and supported this woman is. I mean, and how sexy and sensual. Like, and that's the thing, too, is that the Queen of Pentacles, she is one of the sexiest cards within the entire deck, next to the Queen of Wands, because she's very sensual. She's very beautiful. She's very well taken care of. And, like, look, don't you want to, like, kind of, like, be the epitome of this girl right here? Like, the flowers in her hair, or this goddess, Hina, goddess Hina, with the ocean behind her and the mountains behind her and the power behind her and the sensuality. She's just like standing in her truth. And I can relate to that. So whatever it is that you need to do, Queen of Pentacles it up, my love, and take like inventory of what's going on and be very practical and realistic. Don't work with just hopes and dreams and I wish it would be this way. It's not that it's not going to happen. It's just right now it's better for you to step into the space where you are really like feeling like a goddess, like hard goddess energy. Like I am so well taken care of. I am so well loved. I am so abundantly provided for. I hold the keys to my destiny. I cannot wait. Like, I feel so good. This is where I am at right now. Like, I wouldn't accept anything less. So this is all about letting go of all that bullshit, letting it cleanse, letting it transform for your highest and greatest good because this is actually where it is that you're going to be. Um, and that gives that person the freedom to choose you. That gives your job the freedom to choose you and you to choose it. Okay? So I hope that that makes sense to you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure that you are subscribed to the YouTube channel. Hit those thumbs up button and I'll see you in my next video. Happy new moon. Bye.